All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, giving all praises, honor, glory, respect, and blessings to Yahweh, Bashom, Yahweh Shai, Bashom Rakah Kodash. Salutations to the Lord's elect on the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth and sincerity while patiently waiting for Yahweh Shai's return. And double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone which have taught us everything we know through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashom Yahweh Shai. I just uh, wanted to do a video on how we're almost out of here. Anybody, you know, well, not anybody, but you brothers who are spiritual minded, if, if you've been paying attention to the news, you can see how not, not only Jacob's trouble is around the corner, but salvation is as well. Because during the time of Jacob's trouble, there's going to be deliverances even before Yahweh shall come back. Because the Lord, he's going to deliver his, you know, elect men from starvation. He's going to deliver his elect men from pestilence, from disease warfare. He's going to deliver his elect men. Excuse me. He's going to deliver his his elect men from from, you know, the beast of the field. Um, and a matter of fact, the proof of that is if we go over here to the book of Job, See if I can find it real quick. Job, the fifth chapter. I don't know the exact verse, but. Okay. But in the book of Job, see if I can find it. It tells you that the beast of the air shall be at peace with thee. So let me see if I can find it. I think this is it right here. Uh, Job chapter five, verse 23. It says, for thou shalt be in league with the stones of the field, right? And the beasts of the field shall be at peace with thee. So this applies only to the elect. As for the two thirds of our people, as for these heathens, the Lord is going to allow these lions, these cougars, these tigers, these jaguars, these panthers, these bears, these wolves, these hyenas, and all of these vicious animals like alligators to, to kill and consume these people. But if you're of the elect, the Lord said that, 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 that the beasts of the earth shall be at peace with you. That means if you're walking down the street, right? And you see a lion and it sees you, that, that lion is not gonna mess with you. You know, it, it, might, it might look at you, but then it might just keep walking. <laughs> but anybody else? That lion, hey, that lion is going to it's going to consume that person. OK. And we must always remember that the Lord has control over all aspects of life. So if a lion walked past you, the Lord did it. You know, because the Lord, the Lord controls these 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 different uh, creatures. OK, the Lord controls the, these different creatures. But um, let's go back to Romans, OK, 
chapter 13, verse 10. Okay, so Romans chapter 13, verse 11, it says, And that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. Why? For now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. Do you know what that means? That means that our salvation is much closer than we think. You know, don't 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 let what Esau you know, say in his news media or on TV, this discourage you. He might say some shit like, well, by 2035, by, by the year 2045, this day, look. When the Heavenly Father say, okay, it's time for this country to go down, this country is going to go down. And a matter of fact, right, let's go to Isaiah just real quick. Because I want to make a point here. Where's Isaiah? Isaiah, you know, this is proof that these devils, they're not going to be able to, you know, prolong their days. Isaiah chapter 13, verse 22. And the wild beasts of the islands shall cry in their desolate houses and dragons in their pleasant palaces. And her time, whose time? Babylon's time. Um, Babylon, which is America. And her time, okay, and her time, okay, oh, excuse me, and her time is near to, and her time is near to come, and her days shall not be prolonged. Let's read that again. And the wild beasts of the islands shall cry in her desolate houses, and dragons in her pleasant palaces. And her time is near to come, and her days shall not be prolonged. So this, this country, the days of this country, is not going to be prolonged. You know, the Lord is not going to, you know, there, there ain't going to be no such thing as, you know, you know, here, here it is. It's the year 2055 and, and people still in captivity. You know, they got CHIPs in them. No. This country, the, the time for this country to go down is near. It is very near. Okay, look, look, look at uh, the days of Noah. You know, what did the Lord do to those people during the time of Noah? He fucking drowned their ass because they were wicked. So that proves that the Lord, the Lord is not going to just let wickedness go on forever. Here it is, you know, the sodomites in the earth, there's transformers. You think the Lord is going to allow that? Especially when he said, don't do those things. The Lord is not going to allow that. So this 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 country is going to fall soon. OK, the scriptures say that that uh, uh, wickedness shall not prosper in the earth. Or, or just roughly par paraphrasing, uh, prevail or, 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 or something to that effect. You know, this, every day this devil is destroying the earth. We got all kinds of chemicals and all kinds of, of, of uh, abominations in the water. And I'm talking about the drinking water. So let's go back to Romans now. Chapter 13. Verse 11. Okay. And that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. Why? For now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. The night is far spent, right? So our salvation is much closer than we think. Especially the way things are heading. You know, they're talking about. You know, new, nuclear, nuclear bombs is, is now the new talk in the news. Russia talking about nukes now. Biden is talking about nukes. So this this thing could go down at any moment. We're just waiting for one major prophecy to come to pass before those, those nukes go off. And, and that's the MOTB. OK, that's the MOTB.
so it says <coughs> the night but 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 once the MOTB becomes mandatory man these prophecies are going to fly they're going they're going to really be speaking jumping and doing backflips out of the holy scriptures so it says the night is far spent the day is at hand what day is at hand the day of the lord let us therefore put off the works of darkness right this is you know well you should have repented a long time ago but if you have not if you if you're a hebrew israelite which would be a so-called negro latino or native indian okay and and uh if you doing wickedness if you can hear and, 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 and understand this word it's time to repent because if you don't once the doors of mercy close that's it man there, there ain't no you know oh shit where, where them guys at you know I, I, I need to repent nah nah man this is the time to repent you understand this is the time to repent I mean, you know, really, since since the time of Abba Bivens, you know, that was ever since he started teaching that that was the time to repent. So the Lord has has given us decades, decades of, of times to repent. So when Jacob's trouble comes, there ain't going to be no excuse. You can't say, well, Lord, I didn't know. And no, we got YouTube now. We got the internet, you know, and, and, and this word really, this truth really started spreading like, like wildfire once YouTube came on the scene. Because once YouTube came on the scene and these videos by Great Nail Stones started going up, guess what? This truth started spreading like wildfire. So there ain't no excuse. Like Yahweh I said, except he had not come, uh, uh, they had not sinned. But now they have no cloak for the sin. How come they have no cloak for the sin? Because Yahweh warned them. He told them what, what, what they were doing that was sinful and to repent from, from it. But those people were so caught up in, in, in their iniquities, they did not even care to repent. So guess what? Yahweh is not going to care to deliver you when the time of Jacob's come, okay? You're gonna be a shit out of luck, SOL, okay? So let us put off the works of darkness and put on the armor of light. The armor of light is, is the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the Holy Scriptures, okay? Let us walk honestly as in a day, not in rioting and drunkenness, which is party, partying, right? Not in chambering and wantonness, which the word wanton means undisciplinedness. Not in strife and envying, but put ye on the Lord, Yahweh Shai. Now, is that talking about, you know, is that talking about, you know, you, you got to go throughout the earth and figure out where, 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 where Yahweh Shai's clothes was and put it on? No. That's not how you put on the word of Yahweh. That's not how you put on Yahweh Shah. You put on Yahweh Shah by learning the righteous ways of the Holy Scriptures and walking in them, doing them. Like, like my man Barry White said, practice what you preach. You know, well, you got to practice what you preach. You got to do it. Don't just tell somebody not to smoke, but somewhere in secret in the cut, you lighten up a, a cigarette or some, some new porter shit, okay? No. Because the, the, the Lord said, whatever, uh, whatever you judge somebody with, you're going to be judged accordingly too. But put ye on the Lord Yahweh Shai and make not provisions for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof. Right. Stay away from the ways of this world, man. Because the ways of this world is wicked. So with that, I'm going to say, Shalom is on to the next one.